What's up, guys? Let me invite some people on. Hi, guys. I don't know who's here, but if you are, say what's up in the comments below. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I'm just, if I'm not looking, guys, I'm um, inviting a few people on, so bear with me. Just going down the line. Hi, guys. What is up, everybody? Happy Friday, you guys. Let's see. I don't want to invite too many people, but... Guys... I'm live again. Ah, it's been a while. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I get live shy. Is that is that stupid? Especially for somebody who's not typically shy. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want to go live, or I just get nervous, or I feel like I don't have anything to talk about, different things like that. But I've got to stop that, guys. I've got to stop that train of thought because it's not okay. All right, I'm done inviting. Hey, what's up, Brenda Lee? Thank you for joining. Hi, Dakota. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Jeremy Gores. Hey, Duan. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Jose. What's up, guys? So, I want to do a live. I want to try to give you guys some motivation. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, I really appreciate it. It's been a while. I don't think I've been live since I went live with my buddy Jawan. Jawan, it's been a minute, right? You've been done like 30 lives since then. My goodness. But guys, happy Friday, first and foremost. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, because you could be anywhere else in the world, but you here with me. <laughs> but um, so I'm gonna keep this, I guess, as short as I possibly can. Um, I really just had something on my heart. Um, and I might be looking down at my phone, guys, so bear with me, but I wrote, um, some things down. I did this, um, October 18th, so I've been sitting and stewing on this thought since the 18th. Like, what? Y'all, I should have been on here. I should have been telling you guys stuff. Hey, Kimberly. Yeah, I should have been on here talking, but, um, like I said, hey, Dion, sometimes I get a little bit, like, live shy. I don't know why. Don't get don't don't judge me, okay? You know, I'm I'm human. Hey Cornelius. Um, but like I said, guys, I've really been stewing on this thought because I um personally just uh like two months ago was hey Kimberly, I was super depressed, guys. I was very, very depressed. I was in a space that um I wouldn't wish on anybody. Um, and I felt lost. I felt like I wasn't going anywhere. I felt like success, you know, I was here and success was like way over here where you can't even see. Um, and I just felt like I was just spinning my wheels and not, you know, getting anything done. And in my mind, I'd almost given up. I'd almost completely given up. Hey, Barbara. Um, I had almost completely given up guys. Um, and <laughs> It's weird to even say that now. Hey, Tony. Um, it's weird to even say that now um, because, you know, looking at what I've been doing over the last uh, couple months and looking at, you know, how my life has changed over the course of just a couple months, um, it's insane to even go back there, right? To even go back and say, man, like, I was so depressed. I was down. I felt like I had very little to live for you know other than my family I felt like I had you know my businesses weren't going anywhere I just felt like I was no longer thriving the way that in my mind I envisioned thriving right um let me hey Sasha hey Gavin thank you guys for joining me um and Brenda Lee yeah I mean I <laughs> it's hard to do lives I know I'm not even shy y'all I'm not even that shy and I feel kind of like dumb for saying it because I do like get shy guys and I just told a girl I'm like don't be shy you know when you do videos you're talking to yourself basically but when you go live it's a little bit different right yeah a little more pressure than whenever you do a video 
Um, but you know, it's like right, coming out of my shell. You know, I just have to do more and more and more. But anyways, guys, I was in a place that it was really tough for me. I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. I, I felt like, you know, like I said, I was just down. I was upset. I was sad. I was, you know, um, <laughs> mad. You know, I was, I was sad looking at all these people thriving and, you know, successful and growing their businesses. And I was just like, why not me? Why not me, right? But um, the other day, I, I was actually in bed. I was going to bed. Um, and sometimes I just get these thoughts, right? I get these thoughts and I'm like, oh my God, I have to pull out my phone. Because if I don't have a pen and paper around, I, you know, got to pull out my phone and I have to write my thoughts. And I recommend that to anybody who, you know, you don't want to forget some of these thoughts because these, these can be teaching moments. They can be something you look back on to help you get through a certain point in your life. Okay, so I highly recommend writing things down and I'm glad I did. Um... But what I wrote is that we're a beacon of change, right? We are so fearful of change. And honestly, guys, it's all it's all here. And I'm going to tell you why. Subconsciously, we change on a daily basis. We adapt to things on a daily basis. I'm going to tell you what I wrote, guys. And I went back and read this today to my husband. And I was like, wow, like, it's so true. We change subconsciously daily but when it's a conscious change where we need to fix this so we can get here or we need to be this way so we can attract this to us we clam up and we get scared and we're like oh my god you know i, I don't know if i can do that or, or what if i fail or what if you know this happens or that happens guys i'm gonna drill this into your head right now we are constantly changing multiple times a day like, if you don't change or adapt to something at least one time in your day, like, you're not living, right? You're, you're asleep all day. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. So, I said, um, you know, we're meant for change, and it's, some, it's not something that's foreign to us. Fear keeps us from making serious and real active conscious change in our lives. Things that take effort out of the norm tend to make us fearful. Like I said, what if this happens? What if I fail? You know, we get scared. But we adapt to subtle changes daily. We run out of something that we need, right? We run out of tissue. Oh, my God. If you don't have tissue, what do you have to do? You have to fix it, right? That's a change. So what do you do? You go to the store and you buy more. Or <laughs> you go to the kitchen, you grab some paper towel. But you know what I mean? We're changing constantly, guys. We're always adapting to something. Okay, um, you know, run out of something we need. We improvise. We find a way to replace it. Um, we don't sleep well, so we drink coffee or an energy drink to what? Give us that energy, right? We're changing. So we're going from sleepy to energy. We, we made a change. We did something to our body to spark change. Okay, uh, we have a kink in our day. Something goes wrong, right? We run out of gas. What do we do? Find a way to get gas so you can continue about your day. Okay? Um, you know, we find a way to remedy the things that have happened. Um, you wake up late. So what do you do? You rush your normal routine. You're not going the, at the speed that you typically do. You change the speed so that you can get to where you need to go on time. Right? All right? Um, life puts us through change on a daily basis. So we're subconsciously up here changing things daily. We don't even realize it. We don't realize that that's an action of change, but it is. All right. And so, you know, we have to, in order to navigate a lot of the most important parts of our day, you know, if we're running late, we're freaking out because we got to be somewhere. We're changing what we do in order to make it there on time. Guys, my point is, is that we are subconsciously changing, changing, changing on a daily basis. And if we put effort and lose fear, we can change anything. But we have to start by removing fear and changing. Removing fear completely from the equation. Removing what ifs. Removing, you know... Uh, oh, I, I don't think this is going to work. Removing doubt. Remove it. 
Because we're always changing. We're constantly changing. So why can't you do it consciously? Why can't you do it by your own mind? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying all this to say, guys, I, I believe that we can do anything we put our minds to. You hear that? Some of you guys have said that to your children or to people you love. But it's true. It's very true. We can absolutely do anything we put our minds to. I think it's funny whenever, you know, we um, talk to people. Well, when, when I and by we, I mean like entrepreneurs, people who, like me who have done this for a while and things come like second nature to us. When we do things like that um, on a daily basis, like, you know, marketing, uh, recruiting, sales, things like that. Excuse me. And we talk to somebody who has never really done that. Um, you can easily spot the fear in people. You can easily spot the the um, hesitation that they have for what we do. But guys, I've said this before. We all started fresh. I was once a beginner. I, I At one point in my life, all of this was new to me as well. But if I did, excuse me, if I didn't, make the change in my mind to say that I can do it, if I did not take the action to learn, 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 implement, implement, in implement, if I didn't take action on all of those things, I would still be a leasing agent in an apartment complex with a boss that I hated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or I'd be working in customer service somewhere at a job that I hate. And I can guarantee you guys that because I hated every single job I had in some way or another. It's just, a, it's the truth, right? I know that I'm good at what I do, but I don't, you know, the surroundings, you know, a boss, all that stuff. I'm a boss. <laughs> Me, Brittany, I'm a boss. And I've known that since I was a kid. <laughs> selling candy on the bus, you know, selling candy at school. I'm a boss. You can't, I, I don't want to listen to you. I'm a boss. I've always known that, guys. We have to take a conscious effort to change our actions. We have to take a conscious effort, you know, make a conscious effort to do the things that we know are scary, that we know are going to push us to a whole other level. Do it. Do it. You can absolutely do it. You can do it. It is going to take change. It is. But change is something that we do on a daily basis, guys. So why not do it with our own mind? Why not be the person who makes the change? Why not, you know, stop living on autopilot? Because these little changes that I'm talking about that we do daily, that's on autopilot, right? That's easy. That's easy. That's just like, oh, okay. That's easy. Guys, stop taking the easy road. We're not we're we're done with the easy road, right? We're done taking the easy way out. Do something that challenges you. Do something that's different. And 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 take how do I say this in a nice way? Take <laughs> responsibility for the things that you're doing or not doing that's getting you where you are or not getting you where you are. Take responsibility. If something is difficult, don't rely on me or your sponsor or whoever you're working with. Don't rely on us. And I'm putting this in the perspective for my entrepreneur folks out there, right? If it's something new to you, don't rely on us to teach you every single thing. Take initiative. That's where that change comes into play, guys. That's where that comes into play. Take initiative to work on what you need to work on. There's Google, there's YouTube, there's so many resources. And I want you guys to keep this in mind. We started at nothing. We had to learn somehow. A lot of the things that I learned online was from YouTube, Google, you, Jimmy, different websites that taught me how to be where I am today, guys. And I didn't just get here in a couple months, <laughs> you know. I just started back and, and getting in the groove of things, but this has been a long time coming, <laughs> a long time. And, you know, I think a lot of times, you know, 
fear comes into play. A lot of times we think that, you know, we can't do this or this is too scary or, you know, what if, what if, what if, what if. Erase all of that out of your mind, guys. Erase all of that out of your mind and do it. Just do it. Just go for it. Change your habits. Implement consistency. You know, be the person that you would want, you know, teaching you how to do something so that in the future you can go and teach somebody how to do it. That's what I did. You know, I took the best, best parts of myself to grow. And that took change on my part, guys. Lots of change on my part. I took the best parts of myself and grew it so that I can teach you guys how to do that for yourselves. So, like I said, I'm not going to keep this very long, you guys. But I, I really, really hope you got some value. If you did, give me some thumbs up, some hearts, all of that stuff. Because I'm excited, guys. I'm pumped up. And like I said, I get nervous. And so you might can hear it in my voice. But... I know that I have something to share with you guys. And I know that, you know, this is going to touch somebody. I, I really hope it did, guys. We changed. Thank you so much, guys. I see all the love. I appreciate it. Um, and share this if you think that it's going to motivate or encourage someone uh, on your page as well. Because we're all capable. We're all very, very capable of being where we want to be. We don't have to live subconsciously on autopilot we can implement change right here guys we can implement change whenever we want to we don't have to just do it when we're not thinking about it so i just want to tell everybody out there that's grinding that's doing their thing i'm proud of you even if i don't say it on your page which I, i'm trying to show love everywhere i go guys but if I have not said it to you, I'm proud of each and every one of you. I absolutely am. I'm so thankful, so thankful that I made the change <laughs> to stop wallowing, you know, stop wallowing in pity, stop, you know, self-loathing, stop, you know, self-doubting, stop, uh, you know, talking down and, and speaking negatively to myself. I'm glad I stopped that shit. I'm so glad, guys, because... If I did it, I would not be here right now talking to you at all. I wouldn't. And, you know, again, I, I'm, I'm doing what I love. I'm absolutely 100% doing what I love. So, again, I hope you guys got some value. Um, you know, comment something below. Tell me what, what, what is the best part of this uh, message that I said to you guys today. Let me know what the best part of it is. Um, and also, you know, I am working with a wonderful group of people right now. Um, and I mean, we are on fire. Team Boss Up, it is going down, you guys. It, it, I mean, the lives that we're changing right now, that's what gets me pumped. That's what makes me say, Brit, F all the shy crap, you know, stop being shy. Come and speak to people. You know what I mean? That's what gets me fired up is that my team has my back. My team has everybody on our team's back. And we're doing amazing things, changing lives. So if you are looking for an opportunity, if you're looking for something to get into that is affordable and that will get you income as fast as possible, guys, and where you will have people that have your back and that will teach you and, and help you the way that you need to be helped, get with me, guys. Inbox me. Let me know. Um, I've got a special right now with one of my, my uh, main opportunities, um, and I'm, I'm doing 50% off. So, uh, it's pretty good deal, guys, and, you know, I'm excited. Like I said, this isn't about money for me. Um, at the end of the day, we're changing lives, and there goes that word again, change. What are we doing? Changing lives. <laughs> so, I love you guys. Like I said, I wasn't going to make this too long, but I really, really hope this message touched you. If it did, please share. Please comment. Like I said, let me know the best part of this live for you um, and what touched you the most about what I said because, you know, um, these are words that, that I've had to say to myself. Um, you have to be your own best teacher. And, you know, I try to teach myself new things daily, you know, or at least listen to other people. And I'm just inspired on a daily basis, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.